So here I have a use case, and this is actually how we use it at Exam Pro, um, is that we have our domain name. Uh, you can purchase it, or you can uh, have Rub53 manage the, uh, the, the name servers, which allow you to then uh, set your record sets within Rub53. And so here we have a bunch of different record sets uh, for subdomains, and we want those subdomains to point to different resources uh, on AWS. So for our app, our app runs behind Elastic Load Balancer, if we uh, need to work on an AMI image, we could launch a single EC2 instance and point that subdomain uh, there. For our API, if it was powered by API Gateway, we could use that subdomain for that. For our static website hosting, we would probably want to point it to CloudFront, so the www dot points to a CloudFront distribution. And for fun uh, and for learning, uh, we might run a Minecraft server on a very specific IP, uh, probably would be Elastic IP because we wouldn't want it to change, and that could be MinecraftExamPro.co. So there's a basic example, but we're going to jump into all the different uh, uh, complex rules that we can do in Rev 53 uh, here.